Laying out a factory is an interesting exercise. One of the great things about this building is there are no columns in the building. Um, I have worked in factories, kind of old, uh, old warehouse buildings where you know you've got a column every, you know, spaced out every 20 feet or so, and you have to work around the columns. The nice thing about this building, we've got brick walls and a wooden frame roof, is that there's no columns, no obstructions, so we can lay it out the way we want. And in fact, uh, we change the layout here periodically. Well, each layout is a little bit different depending on your location. You're kind of committed to what you have as far as building shape and layout. One of our stores is less than 2,000 square feet, and uh, the biggest store that we have is about 4,000 square feet. Each location is a little bit different, and you know you have to design around you know the customer experience first, and then work your way back. We have a, a kind of a double whammy that we do takeout business as well as in-house business, so you have to kind of design a situation where takeout people can get in and out as relatively easy as possible. Our facility has gone through an evolution in the way that it's laid out over the 20 years we've been doing this. And you know, when we moved into the building that we're in, we had a flow that had, you know, it kind of grew as we grew into the building. We had our brew house in place so we couldn't move it. So the brew house that used to flow to the bottling line to the warehouse and out the door, now we needed to move our bottling line. So now we've got the brew house to the bottling line, back to the warehouse, back to the other door to ship out. And there was all this back and forth. So as, as we grew organically with limited space, it was really difficult to get that flow. There's two ways to make what we make. One's called batch mode, where we just kind of get together and make product in a batch, or what we call continuous flow. Now, this is a very interesting process because this is modeled after the way Toyota makes cars. It's called lean manufacturing. That continuous flow model is where we, we prefer to make our products, but you have to have a certain amount of volume to do that. We only started doing that about a year and a half ago when we started making enough of our flagship products, the messenger bag and the laptop sleeves, to warrant buying all that equipment and doing it in that way. It was only through getting our business to the level of production output that we could start to implement some of these lean manufacturing techniques. Layout is one of the things or things that make sense you know if you're gonna have something that's gonna be put on top of the pizza you're not gonna want it at the beginning of the of the production line right you're gonna want that at the end so there's ways to arrange things to make things so people are moving a little bit less make little tweaks and changes to eliminate the bottlenecks but really what it comes down to is you you come up with something that really makes sense, that maximizes uh, the employees, you know, minimizes their movement, maximizes their efficiency. And as we looked at a long-term plan and decided that we needed to really revamp things, so our warehouse and bottling line turned into our brew house. So we could put the bottling line around the corner and then the warehouse around the corner from that. And then we took over other buildings and kept that flow kind of evolving and pushing out. So. We'd get more space for the bottling line, we'd get more space for the warehouse, but it all went in one direction and now, now it's a perfect flow. It's a, it's a nice little tight little semicircle where the grain comes in and on the other end the trucks go out full of beer.